The Dana G. Hoyt Fine Arts Building, located in Sam Houston State University, is full of color. Every hallway you walk down has paintings and works of art hung up on display. This building was designed to be appealing from the outside and the inside. It was designed to reflect art and humanity. Even the signs, walls, and furniture are intentionally aesthetically appealing to complement everything else. There's another building in Huntsville that moved me in the same way that this building did, unintentionally and with a singular color, green. The color green has always been my favorite color, and it's associated with a lot of things. In nature, it's associated with being alive. In the springtime, when all the grass and the trees come back from a dead yellow brown to a bright green. According to branding and design experts, green evokes a feeling of peace, rest, and security, which makes sense for this building. A child protective services building, green started to make sense. Peace, rest, and security is what you would want when you would enter a building such as this. I went inside to talk to someone, but I didn't get very far. The lady at the desk told me that she probably wasn't going to be able to talk to me about any of the information because the building is used for child protective services. Um, and that there's probably no one else in the building, too, that would be able to talk to me. Um, so I'm going to try the tax office to see if they're, you know. The tax office wasn't able to give me any of the information that I needed. And the art professor that I had emailed the month before to talk about color theory had yet to reply to my email. Not being able to interview anyone for my documentary was a setback for sure, so I quit. Since everyone I wanted to work with didn't want me to succeed and wanted me to fail, I decided that instead of a building, I would make a documentary about someone that does something I want to do for a living, and I would only work with the one person I trust. Me. I've always wanted to be a documentarian and tell stories of things that I found interesting, but I never grasped how interesting I was to other people. I wanted to show people my life and how fascinating it is to be a documentarian. When I first started capturing my life, I used a tripod and a camera. This method of filming my life made it very unnatural for me to act natural. I could never forget about the camera because every new place I had to set up the shot. <laughs> Everything felt forced and strange. So I got a set of trail cameras and I positioned them in different spots in my apartment. This way, I could let my life unfold naturally and showcase what a unique life I get to live. After 30 days of filming my life, I was scheduled to meet with the person funding this whole documentary to show her how much progress I made and how well I used the money. What is this? So I'm kind of like, I would really appreciate it if you made some, you know, content with this documentary. Not just like you, sitting in bed all day. So you want... I want you to, like, go out and, like, document something, please. I don't have any money, I just want to know that my money went somewhere. She wasn't very happy that I used $900 of the budget on trail cameras, and she also wasn't very happy with the topic of the documentary anymore. So I had to find someone in one week. The deadline for the film festival was approaching fast. I didn't have time to reach out and wait for anyone notable. 
so I had to find someone local. Um, name's Caspian. I just got transferred to this academy. Um, had a, a couple mix-ups at the last one. This is the number 508. So, transferred from uh, 498. I mean, that's it. Dream job. Probably make it to shift leader here at Academy. What are you now? Not the shift leader. Fine. Blew up, fell. <sighs> Threw that shit in the dumpster. You can't have customers looking at that shit, so. I wasn't getting anything interesting out of Caspian, but just when I thought things were over, something happened that changed the course of the entire documentary. You, you Kate? Yeah. Kate? Um, you is he recording? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's recording this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, met this guy, he's doing a documentary or something. Some nerd shit, so... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in it? You want a credit? Is it, you asking for a credit? Probably, probably not. Alright. Okay. No credit, alright. See you. Thanks. Yep. Friend? I don't got friends. What was that? I deal. I deal on the side. You deal drugs? What do you think I do? Drugs, yeah. Marijuana. Who you dope? Yeah. Yeah. So, same bag. I just, I got so many extra of these bags. I just keep one around. Put the stuff in here. Drop it off. Run it. Run back. Make another run. Run it. Run back. Make another run. Uh, pretty much the same principle and everything. Um, you ever do this? You ever dash? No. No? Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, my shit's 100% fresh, you know what I mean? That's why I use the, that's why I use this bag, so. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. No. I don't know. I don't know. Halfway through our trip, Caspian started muttering under his breath the name of someone over and over, and then he pulled into an apartment complex. Yeah, man, if you don't mind, I'm gonna... I got some beef to squash, so I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Head up. See you in... Five? Ten? He was gone for about three minutes, and then he came running back. And from the look on his face, I knew something was wrong. Get the car on! Get the car on! Cops on the way. What? We gotta get out of here. Cops? Went south. Cops are on the way. Who did you attack? Wasn't the guy. I made, I made some new beef. Caspian had assaulted the wrong person, and we were now driving frantically anywhere to hide. I then realized that my apartment was close, so we went there. Together. We, we arrived together. at my apartment and we were waiting out the police, but just 15 minutes after we arrived, everything came to an end. That it? Yes, officer. Alright, hands over your head. Hey, I just want to thank you guys again for letting me finish voicing over the documentary. Yep, never had anyone cry as much as you have. Um, I left the information to the festival on the sticky note uh, on my laptop. Yep. And 
Do you think you could make a poster for it? I, I don't know how to make a poster. Oh, well, it's it's just that you need a poster to submit it. So if if I just I don't if you don't make a poster for it, then it can't get. Submitted. Okay. Okay. Fine. So three, 